My ear always gravitates towards like the flange or the phaser or the, any of the modulation or the mix or the type of compression. I think it's just the, the producer ear or something, but like I'm going deeper into like the sonics. Toro y Moi is a project I started probably when I was like 15. It was around that age where I, I knew that I kind of wanted to just play in bands. I told my parents that I wanted to quit football and started playing guitar. At first they were shocked, but then they were like, just glad I was doing something with my time after school. My first guitar was a classical guitar. My mom got it from a pawn shop. And then my first electric was a Fender Jazzmaster from 2008. I saw Thurston Moore play with the Jazzmaster and I just thought it was the coolest style of guitar. Mr. Postman, did I get mail? Did I get a letter? Did I get a postcard? Postman, there's a couple ways to look at it. Postman, as in like postmodern man, post pandemic man, potentially, you know, like post, like after all this man. Also, just supporting the US Postal Service. Quarantine made me realize oh, yeah, this person stops by here every day. Hello. I think being from South Carolina, you're always around like roots music. And so my ear just sort of gravitated to the freak folk stuff, like Devinger Banhart and even some like Elliot Smith. Kind of turned into this love for acoustic based music. My first band was a three piece actually. We were a cool little like indie rock trio that sort of had some emo tendencies. And then my next band became like a passion project. That was a four piece. That's the one that really sort of helped me shape my skills and the four piece is the thing that taught me how to just like sit back, be a little bit more of a dynamic player. And then Toro spawned off of that. So yeah, I've been doing Toro since 15. Nothing here to see, factories overseas. Cut down all these trees, building model T's. No more drama, please, no more drama me. I'ma throw it up all over all the seats. This man in the magazine It's just us we wanna see This man in the magazine It's just us we wanna see
magazine, like, again, another song that has like a couple of meanings. Throughout the whole record, there's these themes of like physical content, mail, magazines. It's sort of a response to media and how things have gone digital and less physical. It really stemmed from things just happening in the world that are like, why is this on the news? Like, what is this feeding me? And so magazine is about just knowing like where to find truth. I'd say a lot of this record is probably almost like falling to the background. The riff is that simple. I don't want your attention for that long. I think I want you to just sort of like listen to the groove more than the, the actual notes sometimes. Just the textures. <laughs> I would say the loop is probably my favorite to play out of these three. It's just such a fun groove. It's really about, if you wanna stay in the loop, it's up to you, you know? You have to do it. It's not gonna be presented to you. The algorithm's not gonna show it to you. Like, you have to go find it. It's about keeping in touch with friends. I think the hardest part of the process is really nailing down the lyrics and figuring out like what you wanna say and how you wanna say it. That's something I always just like tell myself is just like, who are you writing for and where are they listening? Like, are you writing for like a younger crowd in like a big room, an older crowd in a small room, one person in headphones, three people on the train? That's how I like to think about it. What do I wanna hear, like on a train? <laughs>